when you want to model something, we usually have some kind of formula, maybe the formula for fractional crystallization or for Rayleigh fractionation or something like this. And then we want to plot this formula as a function. And here I show how plotting functions work in Python. So we import matplotlib as the plotting tool here. And then we need a second pack package, and this is called num for numbers and pi for Python, so numpy. And this is usually abbreviated with np. So I run this so both packages are loaded. And then I will briefly show how this sort of works. So np for numpy, and then we use, for example, sine for sinus because it's not available in Python actually, or 5, run it, and we'll get the result in radians, so we need to re-calculate um, this into the angle if you want to. Or we can use log, because this is also, I think, not available in Python itself, so we need this additional, this always log to uh, the normal logarithm, so to the base of e. Or we can use something like power, 5, to the power of 6, calculate this, although this is also available in Python, so this would be 5, um, and then double star would give the same number. There are also simple things available like divide, because there are a couple of additional options here. Um, so this is in principle how this works. Now for um, plotting functions, we need another command, and this is um, our method this is lin for linear and then space for linear space. And here we put in, for example, 0 to 20. And if I run this, these um, 20 or 21 numbers are divided in 50 values. So this is the default in 50 values. So if I put in here another option, 50, it will be the same. So 50 values. If I have uh, changes to 10, I have now 10. If I change this to 100, I get a or 1,000, I get a thousand values, and these values I can use as x values. So I remove this, so back to default, and this will be my x values. So x equals, and then I have this array here. So if I run it now, this is assigned to x, and then I use y, and here again numpy, and then for example sine, and here put in x, and then these x values will be, or for each of these x values, the sign will be calculated. So I run it, and this is now assigned to x and y. And these I can now plot. So I have calculated x values, 50, and then the corresponding y values, again 50. And then I plot this, so I use plt, as defined above here, from the input of matplotlib, and use plot, and then just x and y, and I get the plot. Now it's not a really nice plot, as you can see it's quite edgy here. And this is the case because I only have 50 x values, because that's default here, so these 21 values are divided into 50 x values. So if I increase this to 100, this will already look better. Maybe not as good as I wanted, maybe I want 1000, run it again. And now it looks really nice. So this really depends on how many x values you have. Of course, I can make a couple more, but here you need to be careful because, as you can see, it takes longer and longer. So if I add a couple of more zeros, this can quickly add up because it's basically um, logarithmic. It can, can take minutes here. So let's default this back to 50 for a second and try a couple of other functions. So here now I just copy and copy and paste this. Now this is y1, this is y2, and let's have a third one, y3, and then the second one shall be a logarithm, and the third one shall be a power, and the power shall be um, um, square root, so 2 to 0.6 for example, and then plotting. So I plot 1, I plot the second and the third here, and I run it. 
And now I have all three within one plot. Maybe I want to have this a little bit more smooth. So I'll use a thousand. So this looks really quite nice here. So and this is how I can very quickly um, run this. Now I have this error mess as a warning here. So I can, well, if I put PLT show and get rid of the one line, it's always there otherwise. But I still have this warning message here that there's a division by zero. So this is because of the logarithm, because it doesn't work at zero. So I could put in a one and this should go away. This warning, alternatively, this is just a side note, basically. See, so again, I get a warning. I could import a warnings package and then say warnings um, filter warnings and then ignore. So if I run this and run the second cell, the warnings are gone. So this is just as an information. And of course, I can then go a little wild here. So I can make a fourth plot and have uh, power. Then for, to this power, I might I divide the power by numpy sine of x to the three and all this I put in a numpy logarithm and x minus all this and run this and um, okay I don't know maybe I've gone so wild so it's not on a plot anymore oh no <laughs> it's not possible it should adjust the axis of course but I forgot to display it Okay, that's quite a crazy function, actually. Um, that's really crazy. Never had something like that. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fun. So, and if this would be then the formula of, again, fraction crystallization or radial fractionation, this is how you could plot this here in a matplotlib plot.